in how is it going everyone welcome to barrel let's swing uh, a game about uh, well <laughs> the, the name says it it's a swinging game as if you were spider-man well it actually reminds me a lot of cyberhook which is a game that you also shoot and you start you know swinging around uh, but this one is as you can see by the background oriented towards the whole vapor wave movement and stuff uh, so you know it's gonna be a very uh, psychedelic experience I assume uh, aim at the block and shoot what wait aim Aim at a target and hold. Give it what the hell? But I'm. Oh! I didn't see. This is. Okay. So the obstacle. I needed to shoot at the obstacle, not at the goal. My bad. Just that it was the same color as the. As the. As the background. But okay. I also don't know if the sound is fine. I know about WASD. I don't know if you... Like, do you cut your swing or does it automatically cut? Oh, okay, by... I get it. So you stop pressing click. Nice. Alright. Seems very understandable. I don't know if the sound is fine though, I feel like the sound is super quiet, but I can't tell. Can I swing on the clouds? Damn, alright. <laughs> you can swing on the clouds. Nice. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I guess I... No, I think the sound is fine actually. It might be fine. I don't know, it's a little bit weird because it's just like the game, the sound is also quite uh, psychedelic, so, you know, sometimes it's more of, an, of a background sound than the shit music. I think there is music, but I can't tell. There is like some weird, well, some synth string. It's a little bit weird, but this is supposed to be a stoner game, so this is to be expected. Oh shit. Oh, damn it, too much. Oh, my bad. I could still get a touch. I wonder what happens if you touch the clouds. Because you can swing on them, but can you touch them? I don't know, I feel like I'm touching them, but at the same time, you know, they are not killing me, so, damn it. Ah, almost. At least the strategy is very clear here. There you go. Wait, really? How do these people do it so fast? How do you even do it that fast? Oh, that's fine. At least the objects light up when you're about to to catch them. I also feel that this could have more sensitivity. Can I? Oh yeah. X and Y. Why are they separate? What happens if I do this though? Oh, well, that's actually a good idea. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, this is how I feel that the sensitivity should go. It was a little bit slow before. And there is pizza slice. Is this vaporwave? I don't know. Like, a lot of times... What does it say? Speed... Huh? It says it's speedy, doesn't it? But why does this have a circle here? I think it says it's speedy. Just a, a weird way of writing it. But... 
Oh, I need to go all the way up there. Damn it. Oh, I need to catch momentum to get up there. Not like that, though. You know. I was out to say that I don't know how the vapor wave movement even came to be. Because you can see that there are some things that are, you know, that have things in common. But there are some things that feel that they are so random, right? Like, you have, like, random Japanese writing. You have, like, this pink, blue background. But you have so many things. You have status, right? You have chromatic aberration. You have a lot of stuff that I just don't understand how they are connected. Like, it, I think it's trying to emulate like the old computers. But I mean, I had a computer in the 90s and it didn't look like this. <laughs> Maybe it's way before that. Because I remember the earliest operative system that I used was Windows 95. Like this is probably before 95. Or something like that. I don't know. I wasn't alive when that happened, so... I can't tell. I, I, I never used any window prior to 95. That's the reason why to me 95 is like the oldest of the oldest. But I'm assuming that the, the earliest windows were more like this in terms of how they interpret the color. I don't know. Well, in fact, when I was younger, I thought that Windows 95 was the, the earliest uh, Windows version. Like, I didn't think there was anything before that. I thought that 95 was the beginning of everything, but no. That's not the case. That's not how it works. That is just not how it works. What are you even grabbing to? It's like it's grabbing to something so far away. Need to aim a little bit better. Because it seems that the grappling hook, or what I'm seeing, it doesn't really have a limit. That like you can shoot, and the objective can be as far as possible, that it will still work. So, gotta be careful there. It. This is actually a, a challenging level. It's only the, the tenth level, though. I don't even know how many levels there are, but... I expect there to be a lot. Hopefully. Maybe. So I'm not sure. There is a meter on the bottom right. Is that the speed? Or yeah, I think that's the speed. Uh, you have both a a speedometer and the actual speed in kilometers per hour. Huh. It feels like I'm going faster than that, though. I mean, just by the this the feeling that it gives me, feels like I'm going like 150 kilometers per hour. I think that 80 is a little bit low, isn't it? Or maybe no. I don't know. Nice. I guess I should try aiming at the, at the, well, the quote-unquote branches of these columns. Because if I aim at the column itself, well, I guess it depends on which column and how I aim to it. 
it's rough. It's even uh, more tough considering that you can land anywhere. Maybe differently from games like Cyberhook, there is no landing here that that is available. You can't touch anything. Everything that you touch is an insta kill. Fuck, that was close. That was actually close. Not close enough. Not close enough. to go to the right it's also getting cold in here as you can see by the fact that I'm wearing a coat so the good thing about getting cold is that there are a lot of games that usually have very nice graphics that I avoided playing because of the heat of the summer right so considering that we are no longer in summer might be a good idea to to revisit them. Might be. Well, revisit them. Not revisit them. Visit, visiting them for the first time. <laughs> Sadly, I don't remember which ones there were. Well, Dark Souls 2 was one of them. Though it's not like Dark Souls 2 has tremendously good graphics. Then finally. But like, it's the kind of game that I will need at least to not be completely hot. That's interesting. Fuck. Yeah, that's a game that I definitely... Well, that is a game to revisit, because I already beat that game like three times, but... But I wanna beat it again. Because I never beat it on stream. Horizontal swings. Yeah, I already knew that. <laughs> Thanks for the for the advice, but yeah, I already knew that you can do that. I uh, almost Damn, how do people do it so fast? Uh, is there a, an additional button that I'm not aware of? Or are they just naturally this fast? Seems like they are naturally this fast. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was bad momentum. to be a little bit yeah like that now the problem i really like the way that this game basically takes you off the hook when you stop pressing the the when you stop pressing the how is it called in it the, the left click. Uh, the problem is that there are other games, if I'm not mistaken, like Cyberhook, that do the opposite of that. Well, not the opposite by itself, but like they work in different ways. Like y you still uh, keep uh, grappling even if you let go the the mouse click. I don't remember exactly how you stop grappling. But definitely with, not without letting go the the click. So that's a problem because if I get used to it, how am I gonna play any other game of this uh, style? Well, not like there are many games like this anyways, but there are some. Now this is an interesting level because 
I don't think there are many ways to do this level differently, right? So I will assume that the leaderboard wouldn't be that different, right? Well, at least I got three of these things. I mean... Well, they did it a little bit faster, but not that much faster. So, when I look at the category for this game on YouTube, for some reason the name of the game is not really just Barrelet Swing, but like, I think it's Barrelet Swing Ninja Hook Action or something like that. But it doesn't say anything like that on Steam, so I don't know where they took that name from. It's a little bit weird. You know. I think it has like a, a Japanese subtitle, and I think maybe that's what that's where the ninja part comes. I don't know. I was dead, but now I'm dead. So what about this? Um, I think these are called Maoris, right? The the Easter Island uh, statues. Why are these things considered related to to Bayford Whale? I mean, I know that this level is called Easter something. It seems like these things appear relatively often. It's called Easter Bridge. That's a place I would like to visit. Like the Easter Island. Because it's pretty much like Hawaii, but <laughs> accessible to me. That's pretty cool. Like, I don't even need to get a an American visa or anything like that. Pretty sure that just for being Latin American I can go there. Or not, I don't know. I mean, it's Chile. I don't think I will have problems with Chile, right? Yeah, it will be a cool place to visit. I guess. I wonder how similar Hawaii and the, and the Easter Islands are. It's like they will be... You know. Oh shit. Have a pharaoh? One is called Mace Hunter. This is a maze. That was interesting. Fuck. Too far. Seems that for the most part, the idea of the game is just to get close to the. Get close to the to the places where you grapple, so that way you avoid hitting too low. If you hit too low, you are gonna hit the the floor. Obviously, you don't wanna hit the floor. This one seems a little bit hard because even if you go. Even if you somehow get out from this uh, quote-unquote maze, it's still a little bit hard to see how to land after this. 
but it's okay. Yeah, that one feels a little bit complex. I need to figure out where to land. Nice. Wait, why is that yellow? I got an achievement called uh, Museum Tour, I think. Well, that's probably because every 10 levels you kind of like beat the the level, or the level, the, the zone, maybe. So now we have fishes outside of the water. Oh, and dolphins too, damn, look at this shit. And why are they toilets? This is a very... I, I think that this might be the first level in the game where I can say this really is quite stone. They might have to fall in the toilet. Very classy. Got an achievement called Ay Caramba. Which I'm assuming that that's a translation and not the original name. But... Probably because of the amount of deaths. I gotta say that I like the way the game looks. It's very unique. And, and at the same time, you know, I feel like this, this sort of abstract, oh, oh, I thought that it crashed, <laughs> my bad. Like, this kind of abstract uh, planes, or however the hell you will call this, like, this, um, Yeah, I guess abstract is the word. Like, it looks so cool to me, because it feels like if you're dreaming, you know? And dreams... When you dream something, it usually doesn't last too long, and most of the times you just forget about it. Or even if you remember, the feeling that that dream gave you is not there anymore after you wake up, right? But by playing games like this, it kind of like tries to, you know, you can kind of like experience that again. Yeah, this is the kind of dream that I, that you could definitely have. At least I remember when I was younger, I did have some, some very psychedelic dreams like this, right? That's always cool, and I'm pretty sure everyone at some point had dreams like this. Dreams that don't make any sense, but that they just look cool. Or they look unique, right? Like it's something that is not unpleasant to look at, but at the same time it doesn't have any really defined style. It's just very abstract. That's exactly how this feels to me. Oh shit. Have moving pillars. Does that count? Yeah, that counts. Oh, I almost got the other the other thing. This game is made in Unity. 
Probably is right. Probably. I mean, most of the indie games that I played are made in Unity. Even the the game that I played yesterday, which was just a guessing game, it was also made with Unity. Unity really seems like it's the most popular choice among indie developers. I haven't really seen that many Unreal Engine indie games. Usually the ones that are made in, in Unreal Engine are either horror games or games that are more like, you know... That are supposed to have a more realistic aesthetic, I think. Then again, Unity can also make... Can make some things look very realistic. It obviously depends on on how you deal with the art style. What the hell? Okay. I wonder just how stone these levels are gonna get. They are already quite stone, bro. Also, yesterday, I didn't know what the... or well, I didn't remember what the word raft meant. And this level is full of rafts. Just like that. Kinda wanna restart this one. Mostly because I know I can do it faster. And it seems super straightforward as well. Ah, if I hadn't hit that, I probably... Probably would have worked. It tells you your personal best down there. That's pretty nice. I think that it's actually a little bit hard to get into the to get into the exit uh, directly. Right? Like, it feels that you need to swing a little bit more. Maybe that time wasn't that bad for what I can do, I mean. Oh, never mind, there you go. Nice. Elevator. I don't know if I like that word. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay, it can be... Yeah, that's fine. I can definitely be worse. Fucking up like this, though. So basically, you do that. Ah, oh, damn it. Fuck. It's something like that. It's pretty cool, though. It makes me lean in real life as well. I don't think there is a way I can hold onto a moving block without... Uh, well, I guess what I'm saying is obvious, but you can get into a moving block without moving. But I mean without moving horizontally. I mean, obviously you're gonna move vertically in this case. But it seems that it's very hard to not move... Uh, not move horizontally. Ah, damn it. The fact that I got so close and yet it was still so far it's a little bit infuriating. But yeah, I can get there again. I 
do I go up there? I think that I need to... Okay, I think I, I, I know what I need to do. This. That movement. Oof. Nice. Damn, nine seconds. How many people... Team, people are very good. The top 100 is five seconds. Hey Kyle, how is it going? <laughs> I prefer Tarzan more than George. But yeah, that applies too. Uh, that could be the case too. But yeah. No, I mean, dude, I was saying how... I mean, not specifically swinging. But when I was younger, I really had uh, dreams like this. In terms of aesthetic, not in terms of me swinging around. Though I guess I did have a couple of those as well. Though. And the reason why I like this game so much. This kind of aesthetic, of psychedelic aesthetic, it's because of that. It really lets you uh, rela relieve the the dreams which in other you know, it will be impossible otherwise it will be nice though what are they waiting for to invent a machine where you can actually you know replay your dreams well, the issue is that we are very far on knowing what dreams mean or rather, why we dream, why we sleep, you know. I think that we are still a little bit far on knowing that. So, you know, I wouldn't expect that machine to be invented anytime soon, but it would be really nice if you could just replay a dream and experience it again. It would be so cool. Nice. Oh, I almost got the, the other thing there. Oh, time trial? Oh, that's why it's called time trial. No problem. And that was actually easy. That was actually easy. Also, a new, apparently a new Shumping map uh, release. There is a new Shumping map well, not official, still another ma man made. <laughs> Fan made. <laughs> and also man made, yeah. It wasn't made by, a, by an AI. Um, so I'm obviously not gonna play it, but I feel that it's cool seeing other people play it. I mean, I know that you particularly, Kyle, you don't like watching Shumping, but to me Shumping is such a good game to watch. To watch, not to play, clearly. <laughs> to play, like, you know... I will say that the base game is pretty cool to play. Anything other than the base game, though? Yeah, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't believe so. But, you know... I think that it's just the perfect game to watch when you are doing something else, right? Like, let's say that you are working and you need to watch a stream on the side. I feel like Shumping streams are perfect for that. 
because they don't really require you to pay that much attention. And at the same time, they are not intrusive enough to... to make you lose your focus. Well, unless the streamer is very loud, I guess. But yeah. I definitely watch a lot of Shumkin while I'm working. Well, at least when the, the people that I watch play it. If I want to watch Brainless Shit, I turn on to Salty Bed. Right, but the thing about Salty Bed is that... Like... No, I... See, here's the thing. Shumkin, you can say that it's Brainless, but there is an objective. And I think that trying to get to that objective and like the anticipation of getting to that objective is what's cool. It's not that you don't have to focus. It's just that... Well, the fact that you don't have to focus is part of it, but... Working towards an objective, I feel like it's the... Uh, the best thing about it because you know with salty bed at the same time i mean you say that it's brainless but when there is a tournament or when there is its tier fighting i need to focus <laughs> like i don't want to work if something like that is happening you know that's the issue it's too distracting to me watching salty bed during work A lot of fights are so cool, right? They are things that you want to see. So that's the... That's the issue to me. With Sham King, I don't really need to worry about shit. Sham King just does it very, very... Very, very good. I mean, you can pay attention in a specifically tense section, especially when the streamer is about to to finish. But for the most part, you can just leave it in the back, and that's it. You know. Uh, also, aside from that. Wanted to ask you a question because well you're from Chile, right? So what can you tell me about the Easter Islands? Do you know something about them? Or do you know the same thing that I do? Because I was thinking about it, and isn't like the Easter Islands pretty much like South American Hawaii? Like, uh, that, that's my question, really. Is it like Hawaii, or is it very different? Because, you know... Feel that... If you ever want to visit Hawaii, and you don't want to go through the process of... <laughs> becoming an American citizen, or even worse, uh, going to the USA... Um, you always have that. You once touch a Muay. But... Did you go there? Or did you touch it in, in a city? In a normal city? Because if you went there, I want to know. I want to know what it has. I remember there was a night that for some reason I was like, you know, there is this place in the world called Hawaii and I started for some reason investigating a lot about it. Just because I'm like, damn, this is not just a fictional place. 
this is, you know, this is a, a real thing. And I mean, I started looking at how they live their culture and shit like that, and I'm like, damn, that's pretty cool. That a, a place like this actually exists in real life. Museum, it was on exhibition, I see. Now, the question is, and this is kind of like a separate question. Can I go to Chile without needing any visa? Because, I don't know, technically, I'm assuming that, that since I'm Latin American, I should be able to. But I, I'm not sure about Chile particularly. Like, I know I can freely go to countries like Uruguay, uh, Paraguay and Brazil, I'm pretty sure, without needing anything at all. But I think Chile might be different. Like, I think Chile is a different thing. I'm not sure if I need a visa. I think yes, but I don't know about <laughs> cock big procedures. You probably need like four vaccines. Oh yeah, there's also that. I kinda forgot about it. Um, yeah, no, I mean... It's more out of curiosity. I obviously don't plan going, but just out of curiosity. I'll get my four shoot soon, but I'm already tired of that bullshit. <laughs> I mean, everyone is. I don't think you really need to to give yourself a shoot, a shot, unless you want to go somewhere else. But like here, I mean, at least where I live, they don't give a shit. I mean, sure, if I wanted to travel to Chile, as you say, yeah, I probably will need all those booster shots, but while I am here, nobody gives a fuck. I mean, people already here don't give a fuck about face masks. In fact, like, you know, I think the other day I went outside to buy something and I think that I was the only one with a face mask. Like, everyone else, like, there were like 10 people that I... that I seen in the street, right? None of them had a face mask. I was the only one. The only one wearing a face mask. And there was a day that I forgot the face mask. I, I, I just forgot, like, I, I completely forgot to pick it up. And I realized when I when it was too late, and yet when I arrived at the store that I went to buy, nobody said anything. Because, you know, there was a time where you couldn't enter a store unless you had a face mask. Well, here, they, they didn't give a shit. They were like, yeah, how are you gonna order? Unlock World 3. Nice. Damn, I got an achievement called I Was Wet. Interesting name. Humans are stupid. I mean, regardless of that, the point is that... Um... You know, it really does feel like this sort of thing is treated as flavor of the month, right? Like, nobody's really taking the pandemic seriously. Uh, but I'm not just saying now. I'm saying that nobody ever took the pandemic seriously. Like, it was just a flavor of the month thing, it feels, to me. Like, uh, yeah, some people maybe might have taken it seriously. I think that for the most part, a lot of other people just pretend uh, just because it was the current topic, right? 
I still worry about it. Like I, I wear face mask, face mask every time I need to go out. I clean everything with alcohol. If it it comes from outside my house, I completely spray them with alcohol. So I haven't forgotten. It seems that a lot of people did. <laughs> the USA map. Where? Did I miss the USA map? I didn't see it. But, you know, regardless, I think that... It's just one of those things that... It's hard to... hard to discuss with most people I mean oh the burgers and pizza yeah oh what the hell how did I get that boost I think it's because I touch one of these meatballs I don't even know if these are supposed to be meatballs they kind of look like meatballs Oh, you can just, well, speaking of that, you can just grab a meatball and you get there super fast. But yeah. Oh, more burgers. Well, not just burgers, we have burgers, meatballs, and sausages. All in one beautiful level. The only thing left are the pizzas. Come on, how did you miss that? How is it possible? Oh, too low. Yeah, that's too low. Well, I can still make it. I can make it? Yeah, but that took me a long time. Midi slingers? Oh shit, I actually need to aim at the meatballs. I think that it's been a while since I eaten meatballs. Now that I think about it. I mean, I know that... Um, you know, actually, I'm surprised that in... In Spanish, the word meatball is so specific, right? Because in English it's meatball, like it's a, a compound word composed obviously of, of meat and ball. But in Spanish it's not like that. We have the word um, albondiga, which, you know, is not a compound word as, as far as I know. It's a regular word that specifically means meatball. So I'm surprised about that. Though then again, I think that that applies to to a lot of other words um, that you know, like not just from English to Spanish, but from Spanish to English as well. There are a lot of words that in one language are compound words that are just two words stringed together. And for the other language, it's a completely unique word. And, you know, same is true in the opposite way. Well, for example, yesterday I learned that there is one of the condiments that you put in the pizza, if I'm not mistaken, that is called in English nutmeg. I didn't know that word sister. Because it's not a single word in Spanish, it's uh, two words. But yeah, I didn't I didn't know that word. And since yesterday we were talking well we were playing a, a guessing game, all of these words that are like super 
known for a lot of people because it's everyday things are completely unexistent to me in English, obviously. So I didn't know that nutmeg was an actual uh, condiment. Which now that I think about it, it makes sense because it has the word nut. Yeah. I didn't know that. But usually when it comes to food, I just don't know shit in English. It's usually very hard for me to, to talk about food in English. Nice. Catch a ride. Oh fuck. That seems pretty cool. I have a lot of momentum here, so you can let yourself go a lot sooner than that. Not if you die like that. like this and then let yourself go yeah a little bit sooner than that I think I'm doing it too fast yeah, like you can do this super fast the difference between a French hot dog and a, a non-French hot dog? Also, what you mean by hot dog? I don't see any buns in here. All I see is the meat. All I see is the sausages. This is no hot dog. Damn, alright. That looks very good. Damn, this level is making me hungry, I gotta say. And look at the pickles. I just realized that the burgers have pickle on them. <laughs> it's a tunnel. Damn it, this level is not a very good level to play when you are hungry. I can tell you that. Especially because the food looks so tasty. Looks beautiful. Rocket balls. Well, I see the rocket. Oh, I get it, I get it. Okay, this is gonna be a fast one. Oh, they are. There is ice cream too. This level, this zone is so subliminal. This is making me want to eat shunk food. It's insane. Well, meatballs are not really shunk food. But everything else. <laughs> Wait, can I just swing up here? Kind of feels like I can skip that. Right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can skip this to be a little bit better. Yeah, like that. <laughs> exactly like that. Yeah, 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 that works. In fact, I'm pretty sure that a lot of these levels, like the, the very good times that I see is because they use the skips like this, most likely. Yeah. This level is actually hard. level doesn't seem easy at all. It also seems quite long. Oh, wait a second. I think I'm supposed to go up from here? Do I even have enough momentum? 
Because I don't think you can go up there any other way. But it's way too high. I feel like I will need a rocket to go up there, but... I'm not seeing any rocket that points up. All of the rockets point... Let me see what the intended way is. At least I know that it gets here. Like, up until this point, I understand. Like, then, let's say that you take this. And then the problem is that if you take that one, the only thing that that does is that you go back. That doesn't seem very useful. Unless that gives you enough momentum to swing up. Otherwise, I don't really get it. It's not like there's anything here to grab. This the level specifically wants me to grab everything. Because there is not enough momentum to get there. Hmm. What could I be missing? I mean, maybe what I should do... Oh! Wait, should I go through the ice creams? So I think the arrows pointing there... Are just pointing there to... To guide you if you use the rocket. I don't think they are there to... To point specifically anywhere other than the intended way. But, like, see, here's the thing. This is apparently the last rocket. But what do you do with that? That's the last rocket you can grab. That doesn't seem very useful. Yeah, I have a feeling that I need to use the burger. But it feels like the swing is very specific. I don't think I even have enough speed for that. Yeah, it might be like that. I still find it weird if that's the case. Because the amount of momentum you need is ridiculously high. Even that, that momentum was very good. It still was not enough. This level seems actually very hard. Because the exit is just so high. Maybe I am missing a secret rocket that is at the other side of this wall. But I think that's pretty much where I came from, so... There doesn't seem to be anything else, right? What happens if I start this way? That doesn't work. I think that doing the intended way doesn't help at all. I mean, it's clearly not faster, but maybe it does give you the momentum you need. It doesn't really look like it. So eventually, when you regrab another rocket, you kind of lose all momentum, anyways. Yeah, this is the issue. I'm very confused about this one. I'm very confused. The question is if I can even skip this level or if I'm completely tied to this level. Like, what happens if I... Oh, you can't. If you go to level selection, can. It doesn't let you. Also, there is five worlds in total, it seems. So there, are, there is a hundred levels in total. Okay. But it does get a little bit hard here, so... I need to think of something, somehow. It seems like why the the difficulty spike though here. Unless I'm supposed to hold on to 
No, but I don't think I'm supposed to hold on to to the rocket that goes left. To that one, no, definitely not. I think I might be misunderstanding something. This place, maybe? Oh no, that's... you can grab that. You cannot grab that. No, I think that's what you're supposed to do. And I'm pretty sure you are supposed to use the rockets just to go faster. But... Not sure if I'm supposed to use the meatballs or the burgers. You're supposed to use something. Whatever it is, <laughs> you're intended to grab onto something, not uh, kiss the wall like that. I don't get it though, there is like a back and forth. You go here. It seems like there are three rockets in total, or am I miscounting them? I think there are three, but it doesn't add up. If there are three. Oh, that's the last one, damn it. So that's what I wasn't seeing. So I can completely skip this. I don't even need the momentum. I can just skip this wall, take this rocket, well, not die, <laughs> that, that's uh, important. And then, that. Got it. Oof. It was just a matter of understanding what to do. Mount Yami? <laughs> hey Yami, this is your mount. How does that make you feel? And that's... I mean, I don't know about mixing burgers and sausages with ice cream and pizza. That doesn't seem like it's a very good idea. Honestly, but you know Wonder how much cholesterol in total you can see here Surf and turf Ouch, I got attacked by a meatball Oh nice uh, not nice. I think you're just supposed to use the pizzas to proper yourself here. I think that you can generally ignore the burgers. Definitely. Levels are dangerous. Like, imagine if someone is on a diet and they play these levels. That would seem like a horrible, horrible idea. Play levels like this while you are on a diet. Not a good idea, really. It's like those smokers that are trying to, to stop smoking, but they see someone really enjoying a cigarette 
and they start to lose their minds. Kinda, it kind of feels like that. Hey, hopefully nobody watching this is actually on a diet. That will be bad. Isn't that the name of one of the McDonald characters? Isn't that a illegal? <laughs> Isn't that a trademark? Got it. Pizza Bali. Well, that's why it's called Pizza Bali. Nice. Keep your head down. And that's a lot of forks and knives. At least they are made, they look like they are made out of plastic, so that shouldn't be a problem. Waste disposal. And this seems to be the last level of this world. Can all of these things be disposed of? It seemed like perfectly, perfectly nice meatballs. How can they go to our uh, to waste? you don't approve like that level looks so okay well yeah you're right seeing pizza right next to ice cream and other shit is not very nice but I mean it look very cool at least anyways how is it going yummy Yummy... What was it called? Yummy Mountain? <laughs> Whatever. Oh yeah, it looked pretty cool. Damn, it's also been so long since I ate an ice cream. Or at least that kind of ice cream. Like, I did eat ice cream from a... Uh, from like one of those... You know when you order ice cream, usually you get a recipe uh, that you should grab a spoon and you eat ice cream from that. But it's been a while since I actually eaten uh, a cone ice cream. It's been a while. To be fair though, eating a cone ice cream is always a problem because you know, it melts in your hand, not to mention that it's super easy to to make it fall, considering that you're supposed to be either eating it on the spot while you're trying to fight gravity, or well, yeah, actually, it's that. You need to eat it on the spot while fighting gravity. I don't really know if I want to... to eat an ice cream cone. Because it really just feels uncomfortable for the most part. Seems like it's just a way better idea to... to just order it in a recipe and that's it. I mean, you could say that it's not as fun, but I mean, food is not supposed to be fun, it's supposed to be tasty.
got it. Ooh, nice. We unlock world four. Him. <laughs> and the achievement that I got is called I'm hungry. Left is. I mean by left is. So why does it say goodbye world? Oh shit, Bolivius? <laughs> and if that game is like the game that I played like a, so a couple weeks ago, I can tell you that Bolivius fucking sucks. <laughs> oh man, remember that game? I could barely even tell what was going on the screen. arcade cabinets in here. Oh. Oh, I can't believe I didn't hit that somehow. I also don't know how I didn't hit that. Oh nice, I barely hit that. Rage quit? <laughs> Interesting name for a level. Oh, come on. Nice. Multi reference deception. My multi reference deception. Oh, it says null reference deception. I know it has null pointer reception, but hey, that's okay too. I mean, after all, I'm pretty sure that that's on a on a language that is not Shava. I think Shava is not very 90s friendly, right? Probably. I think I need to use the last one of these pillars. Well, this one is called Spears. But... I mean... I don't see how they are Spears, really. But regardless, I think I need to grab onto the last one of them and choose a spin. Like this. Problem is that I can't be too far. If I'm too far, I'm landing straight in the floor. That doesn't seem like a very smart idea for the most part. Mining. 
Oh, that's a weird level. Who we'll have done it a lot faster, yeah. Well, honestly, every single level, like, will do it a lot faster, but, you know. It's a little bit hard to do. I don't even know where the exit is here. Maybe on this side? Uh, that wasn't a very smart idea. On the left side? Up oh, it's up there! Why would I even want to keep going forward then? Doesn't seem like a very smart idea to do so. Let's just go up here. Doesn't work because I'm a moron. Damn it. Would have worked well. So I can definitely do this jump as long as I don't get hit by a palm tree. There you go. Oh, it's pretty nice. I'm surprised that how a lot of these people can do it faster. Do they spam the shoot, the shoot button or what? I don't know. It kind of reminds me like in. There is this game called Remnants of Nasith where people usually, to keep their momentum going, they spam a lot, uh, like the grappling hook. So they always keep their momentum high, and at the same time they can do the swings. I went too high. That's a very good game, dude. Remnants of Nasith. It's a shame that after you beat it, I mean, you can still try to complete it a little bit further, but... But like, it, the only way to kinda complete it is beating the levels again, but just faster. Which is not a bad thing, but... It's not really my thing to speedrun, you know? Stop hitting your head with that. I can do that, there you go. How do you do it faster than this? Can you even see the replays? I don't think you can see the replays, no. Verticality. Where is the exit? Oh, it's there? Well, that shouldn't be that hard then. Like, you should go around here. Well, I guess the hard part is that you can grab that wall. Probably. Yeah, that's probably the hard part. Do I need to go all the way around? Isn't there any faster way? Oh, I could grab that. I don't think I can make it with a single jump over this. I need to go uh, through the side. But yeah, I don't think I should hurry up either. I feel like I should go down the way the game tells me to, but... Definitely feels like you can do it way faster. Wait, what does the floppy disk say? Copy floppy. Oh. That's what it says. Oh, that works. That should work. Nice. That was very fast. Still wasn't... Uh, him 4.9. Oh, more spears. Even more. What's 
very intentional. Nothing tells me that that wasn't intentional. Oh, I'll take it though. What the hell? I just warped into a black hole. That was a little bit weird. Oh, you don't warp into a black hole. Like, it's either a warp or a black hole. I don't think those two things can happen at the same time, you know? Oh wait, I was supposed to do math. Wait, where was the question? Oh, 2 plus 2. Oh, okay. Well, I was right. I wonder what happens if you get it wrong, though. And the next one should be 3. is the <laughs> the least important thing here because the levels are actually I mean the, the, the sorry the shumps are not very easy either it seems like a cool idea though like needing to swing fast like this like, I feel like this will be a good idea for a game. Like, imagine an infinite running game. Or, well, infinite swinging, I guess. Well, depending on how you want to, to do it. But you do a lot of uh, very, very fast and random uh, arithmetic operations and you need to choose between multiple results. That would be cool. Why does it say don't buy this game? That's a little bit too late though. Are you telling me that I should pirate it? Well, I didn't. Okay. You're supposed to have... ...to leave such an insane amount of room here for this to work. Unless I'm supposed to swing myself back and forth. Which I kinda doubt, but I could see that being the case. No, I think that you should get by with only one swing, really. Oh, damn it. Not too, too far. I didn't have any momentum. It really feels that it needs multiple swings to get up there. Or something I'm missing. I don't think I'm missing anything. It's just that this seems to be super hard. Oh, you know, the worst part is that I definitely know that it should be doable to reach it in one swing, but it's hard. Come on! Ooh, nice. Yeah, this is this eight seconds. It's probably one swing. I gotta assume. Both things. I like this song, though. I gotta say. This song sounds very cool. I can 
make it in one. Yeah. How do you do it faster? Like, can you actually cut somewhere? Like here? Oh yeah, that's probably how you do it. You're supposed to grab this and go there straight. Pretty sure that's the only thing you could do this faster. Still a weird angle though. I don't think you can do it faster if you go to the left. Or not substantially faster at least. <laughs> didn't seem like it was that easy, you know? Yeah, it's okay. Just go to the next level. Pilar Tower. Oh, I get it. You go left and right. The gimmick is not going too high so you don't hit your head. Barely, barely not enough momentum for that. That's a shame. Uh, 180 degree turn. I need to do it a lot faster. The way I'm turning. It's basically making me hit the walls. I think that I probably I should wait a little bit to turn. Like I probably should still look forward until I go over the the platform. Otherwise, it just seems that I'm moving towards the the ceiling. That's another problem. Wait, what happens if I just do something like this? Like from the outside? Can I do that? Seems that it's a little bit harder though. But it seems less limiting if I somehow can make it work. If I somehow can make Seems a little bit hard either way. I don't know how I got so fast uh, to to the top level. I mean, to uh, the top floor, I guess. It really doesn't seem that easy. He gets his beginner's luck. Oh, nice. Sadly, it's kind of dodges. Well, unless I get it from the side, like this. That could work, but I think I need a lot of altitude to make this work. Yeah, I think I need a lot of altitude. Not a bad idea by any means, it's just that yeah, you need some altitude. Oh, damn! You can just go there without touching the third one. Nice. Enter Damnation. Interesting name. Really? That's the answer. Okay, okay, got it.
Nice. I'm pretty sure that after going through that hole, I can probably pick up the rocket again. Well, seems like these are gonna be rocket levels. Oh, there is. Okay, you can grab, grab that. Now what? What do I do after that? Oh, you keep going upwards. Ah, uh, too far. It's also not easy to do either. At the same time, do I even need to take the rocket? It doesn't seem all that necessary at all. But I got it regardless. It was a very good swing at the end. You can get that in 3 seconds, apparently. Wait, really? Wait, you can get this with only one swing? I almost did it. Almost. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. I don't even know why the other grappling hooks are even there. Though it is covered in a way that maybe I can do it from above. Like I apparently bugged one of the previous levels by doing exactly that. By like getting to the exit even though it was caged. It does seem like with the right angle you can just get there without, without any problems. But it seems very precise to do it that way. But it's clearly the fastest way. The fastest but not really the easiest. That's the issue. If I can go only a little bit lower, like that, perfect. Then four seconds for the best time. How do they do it? We get another tunnel, not a pizza tunnel, a regular one. This one is kind of missing a little bit. seems particularly hard, which makes sense because it's the final level of this uh, port world, but it does seem very rough. Seems that the idea is that you grab um, anything that you have inside. Like, as soon as you see something that is close to you, you grab it. Ah, almost. At least the tunnel is not that long. That's something.
bit of that attempt where I got so close to the to the edge. Like I'm not sure. I don't remember exactly what I grabbed to make it be so close. I think I might have grabbed the arcade cabinet. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, this one is hard. It's hard because you don't really have too much room to to work with. You are very very limited in terms of space. It is that you're always supposed to grab something that is on top of the screen. The issue with that is that most things are not really at the top when you need them. In fact, I will say that when you need them, there are very few things on top of this tunnel. Nice, whew. Okay, th those were some nice dodges. Now you got an achievement call, turn it off and on again. You know, basically. Are we in hell? Why is every single one of these games... Why does every single uh, game have to have hell as the last level? Come on, dude. It's not even very aesthetically pleasing. I would have preferred space, but then again, I guess a lot of the previous levels already reference the space in some way or another. But like. I think that it's a better idea. It also makes me feel nostalgic, uh, having the final level being a space level. Most of the games that I played on my childhood basically had space as the, the, the last thing to do. Final obstacle. Also not exactly sure where to go. Should I go in between the bones like that? Problem is that the mountain is right there. <laughs> that will work, but it has to be very precise. Yeah, I think it has to be very precise. The exit is at the other side. At the other side of the mountain, that is. Yeah, that works. Nice. Whew. That was... That was hard. I'm pretty sure these levels are just gonna get harder and harder. Or maybe this isn't necessarily supposed to be hell. I mean, that previous level certainly made it look like it was hell. But maybe... It's supposed to be something else. If it's supposed to be something else... What is that something else supposed to be? Right. This one seems particularly weird because depending on where you grab, you basically will never get the momentum to swing yourself up because it's constantly moving uh, horizontally. It's a spinning. I'm pretty sure this level is supposed to represent hell. Pretty much. I think I'm supposed to jump over that. Well, the level, the, the world itself is called Crimson Court. I think it is supposed to be hell. Am 
I supposed to go down there? Or am I supposed to jump over this? I'm not really sure. Oh, there is something there. I think you're supposed to go down. That, that seems very precise to do. Might be easier to just go up. Even if the champ itself is obviously harder. At least you don't have such little room to react. Uh, yeah, all those um, rocks completely block you from doing that. They are not really supposed to go up like that. Didn't yeah, no, I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to do that. Then this. This particular jump looks ridiculously hard. Like, there is so little room to do anything. You're supposed to grab it from, yeah, from such a weird angle. I don't know. I mean, the problem with that is that I have so much momentum that that doesn't seem very possible. You have to be shitting me. How am I even supposed to go there? It seems completely blocked. Oh, oh, too, yeah, that's too far. Oh, from up here. Okay, that's how you do it. Am really? Not a single one of those pots. Oh, okay, every wall seems... No, not every wall. Or maybe, yeah. No, not literally every wall. Or maybe it is. No, there are some rocks that are not gravel. But everything else seems to be mostly fine. Nice. I didn't even think I was gonna was gonna make it there without hitting something. Wait, no what? Oh, I didn't see that rocket. My bad. actually is supposed to work as a black hole. I thought it was some kind of warp, but it's actually a black hole. If you go right where it is, you die. So, but I am supposed to use the momentum here of this black hole, right? Oh, never mind. You can grab... You 
can grab those things. It just works. I got very lucky there. Oh, another one of these horizontal swings. There aren't many of these horizontal swings, but the few horizontal swings that you get are so hard to, to properly do. Also, pretty sure. Wait, can you just escape all of this? No. I don't think you get enough momentum there. Definitely not. Would have been nice. There is not enough momentum and there is no <laughs> place to grapple that will take me there, I feel. I mean, well, I could try with this one, but no, that's not enough. It's definitely not enough. At the same time, though, what happens if I do this? Like, I keep uh, bouncing myself like this. That might work. Almost. Wasn't a bad idea, but yeah. I think you need a little bit more uh, distance to do that, but I kind of want to try it again. The, the issue is that I think I did it as low as I could, and it just did it. Maybe I can just keep getting momentum. Not like that, though. No, 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 I think the best thing is to just do it the intended way. But these levels do seem quite hard, at least for the most part. For the most part they do seem quite challenging, at least compared to the rest of the game. Which makes sense if it is the last form. It definitely makes sense. But I really wish I could just skip it. I kinda wanna try one more time to do it like that. Oh, that's too far. Yeah, that's too far. I'm gonna try it one more time. Damn it. That could have worked, I think. Could have worked, that is, if I. If I didn't do it too far, like, there is... Ah, oh, that is almost enough. I feel that I can do it, if I do it this way. Just barely not enough. Not if I do this. It looks so close. There you go, that has to be enough. Oh, damn it. How can it not be enough? I felt that I have so much momentum. It just seems like it's no. I think the most that you need is, like, you need verticality more than anything else, I feel. To get a very wild bounce. Ah, oh, fuck, dude. It feels so close to working. This might be even the, the way that the, 
the guys on top of the leaderboards do it. Though I'm not sure if this is actually faster. I mean, it seems that it's clearly easier. But on the faster side, I don't actually think this is faster. Because the, the time that you spend getting more momentum is time that you completely waste. I could grab onto that, but all of that momentum going down makes it very hard. Yeah, I guess it's purposely made just so you cannot uh, cheese it like that. But I'm pretty sure I can cheese it like that. Just need to be a little bit better at chasing it, but I'm pretty sure it's doable. Like, I don't think they crafted it specifically so it's not possible. I wanna keep trying that. Well, there's also the interesting thing that I probably should release sooner if I really want to go there because going higher doesn't help me like going higher after the final swing doesn't help at all it just takes away just takes away momentum enough nice so it is possible it's definitely not the fastest way because again you just end up wasting more time just getting that momentum with them if I did it the intended way it seems like it would have been so hard this one seems relatively easy I mean I think that so far all of the spear levels have been about horizontal swing, so this is not an exception. I need more a vertical momentum for that. Also then, it was starting to get hot and now it's starting to get cold again. Really feels like all of the... Um, all of the hot days have uh, disappeared from one day to another. Just like that. by crown. Oh, is it crown or crow? I think it's crown, right? Like you just got a, a crown or something. Probably. You can use that black hole to get yourself some momentum. I'm not sure. I don't really think you're supposed to go to the side. No, you're supposed to go down. Like this. You're supposed to pick it up here. Oh. Or not. Maybe not. You need way more momentum though if you want to get here. Uh, I almost got it. It will have been a little bit higher. Yeah, like that. Exactly. Exactly like that. That's a very good way to ruin it. <laughs> Damn it. It was so good before. I had to fuck it up. There you go. Like this. Oh, I don't have enough. Wait, it's okay. I can just do this. There you go. 
Nice. Now you got crown in the throne. This one already makes me want to skip that mountain completely by getting vertical momentum. Really makes me want to do it. Wait, where is the exit? Well, I mean, the level is called Depth, so I'm assuming that the exit is inside this mountain instead of at the other side. here is that I'm grabbing this too late, probably. Too late or too early? I could probably also skip it, but that does seem a little bit harder. I want to know what happens if I get enough momentum here though, to like jump very high. I don't think it's gonna help at all. Because if I just jump very high, the only thing I do is go to the other side. I wish I knew where the exit is. I think that by doing this, I might find out. Uh... It's weird because usually where the exit is, you see a ray of light coming from the sky so it tells you exactly where it is even if you don't see it in other place like from some other place I mean. this one seems to be completely hidden one just seems to be absolutely hidden This second, this second thing without wasting time. But it feels that it's in such an uncomfortable place with the angle that you get. It feels very uncomfortable. Yeah, I. It seems that every single way you grab it has a problem with it. Kinda wanna swing to the other side again. I mean, if I can swing to the other side, pretty sure I can just... It's completely close. I thought I could grab it from the other side, but no. Well, maybe I could do it, but I would probably need to aim, and it wouldn't be that simple. Damn, I don't even know where the exit is, that's the issue. If I at least knew where the exit is, I think it wouldn't be that bad. Not having that information makes it a problem. I think that the positioning of this second one is terrible, but it's even worse on the fourth one. The fourth one is positioned in a way that seems to be impossible to properly get it without getting... Yeah, like, without swinging super low. Well... 
sadly I don't think I can ignore it as much as I would like to. Maybe I could ignore the third one? I don't know. the issue. Seems that you always grab that fourth one very far from it. So you end up hitting the the bottom because of it. I really hope the exit is right after that. Because if it's not right after that, I don't know how long how much longer I can keep going here without crashing against a rock, you know? At the same time, I don't even need to go this fast. Like, I'm going fast, but I could take this level more easily. Sadly, the only real way you can take this easily... Yeah, it's like this. If you just take your time after grabbing something. But even then, some of these champs without momentum feel like they are impossible as well. So. Not sure if that's really the case. Ah, oh, fuck. Damn it, you're supposed to spin so much. That's messed up. Like, it doesn't seem that hard to, to grab these things individually. It seems super hard to grab them all at the right time. The right time with the right uh, speed and with the right angle. That seems to be very hard to do all of that. Especially that fork. That fourth one is just absolutely evil. That fourth one is so stupidly evil. Well, it makes sense if we are in hell. I also guess it's about your initial positioning. I think that it's all about moving a little bit to the left to get the right angle. Ah, fuck me. I also wonder how many people got this compared to the, to the other levels. The problem is that the game doesn't really, as far as I know, doesn't tell you how many people complete a level. It just shows you the top 100. So you could guess, but I mean the top 100 is usually always busy. I don't think it's a very good way of knowing that. I will assume that this is a... This is a level where... I would assume that some people gave up on it, because this one is clearly very hard. And there is no other way to do it as far as I know. You either do it like this, or you don't do it. last one has the same problem as the fourth one. It just seems very hard to to grab it in an angle that doesn't make you hit the bottom. very cool. 
blows. Not like it matter anyways. Come on, dude. I was super close there. How did that not work? Big now, really? Well, the question is if the other levels are gonna be as hard as this one. Because there are still 10 levels remaining after this. The question is if those 10 levels are gonna be harder than this. Or as hard as this. But I think that considering my experience with this type of games, there is usually a level like this that is completely out of place difficulty-wise. And then all of the other levels are just way easier. Uh, you know, there is a, there are a lot of developers that are not very good at measuring difficulty, so you sometimes see levels like this that... Ah, oh, come on! You see levels like this that shit on every other level difficulty-wise, but they are not the last level. <laughs> That one was so close, that was infuriating. levels like this in a game like this will always be harder than every other level you have an open an open level where the walls are not so close to you it's always gonna be easier of course that's really the question how many of the next levels are gonna be close like this ah oh, damn it I need to release sooner, that's the second time that I do the same mistake. I'm releasing too late. That makes me, that gives me vertical momentum that I don't need there. I need to go forward, not upwards. This level was hard. No, oh, there is still a lot of people in the top 100. <laughs> okay. The climb. So this one. Seems that the gimmick of this one is figuring out where the... Where these things are. Oh, there is one here. 
Uh, oof. Damn. I'm a little bit confused of how the momentum helped me reach that point, but hey, I'm gonna take it. But yeah, I suspect that that level 90 was clearly harder than what came afterwards. And I shouldn't speak so soon, but at least it was harder than the one that came immediately afterwards. So here... Should I jump up here or should I jump here? No, it seems that I lose a lot by jumping there. Oh. Huh. Well, I don't see any other place to swing. Yeah, I'm not sure how to make that work. Oh, I can... Oh, was that intentional? Is it intentional to go in between these rocks? It seems like it is, because it feels like it's the only way to... to properly get to the next uh, swinging item. Swinging item. I still don't know how to call them. I mean, I call them swinging items, but how will you call them? Because the thing that I'm using is called a grappling hook, right? How will you call the, the things that the grappling hook get attached to? I don't know. Blind things, maybe? That attempt that I got to that last swing was a very good attempt. Because I did this, but I don't know how I did this. Hooks? Right, but isn't the hook what I'm using? I wouldn't hook be the name of the tool I'm using right now. Or can you call hook the these things that, well, I guess you could call it hook, but I, I always thought that hook is what you use to, to grab them, and not really what you, what you grab, you know. Not sure if that's correct, though. how I did it. I don't think I can replicate it now. Seems that I did it in a very, very specific angle. Now that angle, I can't get it anymore. Okay, I guess don't grab it. Yeah, sure, why would you grab it? We don't need to do that, right? I think that I should use that... that third thingy to give myself speed to get there. But damn. Seems like you need a lot of speed to get there. Rings? I guess you will call them rings, yeah. Yeah, I think rings will be 
a good way to call it. Seems simple enough. And it definitely seems like it represents what it's supposed to be, at least shape-wise. Yeah, I, I like rigs. But I can do this jump now. God damn it. But that jump is extremely hard. I have no idea how I did it the first time. Ania? That's not a word here. Well, at least in Argentina, I don't think we use that word. We use anillo. Ania? I don't think I remember that. Maybe it, it is a word and I just don't use it. But... levels are gonna be easier than level 90. That's what I get. That's what I get. God damn it. I can choose. I might be able to skip that shitty ass third ring, actually. I think I need a lot of momentum if I want to skip it, and it doesn't seem easy to do. Honestly, skipping the third ring feels like it's the best idea, because that third ring is so shitty. That third ring is so badly placed right there. So if I could skip it, it would be beautiful, but I don't think I have enough momentum. As much as I would like. Yeah, I think it's not enough. Oh uh, man, how the fuck did I do this the first time? I want to watch the replay. Problem with these things... Every time there is a situation like this where I did something before and now I can't do it anymore... Every time that I try rewinding the video, I never ever find the exact uh, place that I that I did what I did. It sucks so much, but I never find it. Never ever. It's so stupidly hard. Oh, that works. Ah, uh, too far. Well, at least that seemed like a decent alternative. I'm not sure if that's exactly what I did. Probably not, but... Hey Yannick, how is it going? I don't know what you mean by feather game, but... Yeah. Fuck, it's a weird angle. Because I'm basically using the ring as a vertical... As a vertical swing. But it's so stupidly hard to do that. I think that you need to... You need to do it from the right side. That's how you do it. Swing from the right side. You went bowling? <laughs> nice. I don't think I remember ever going bowling. I don't even know if we have bowling courts here. Yeah, I actually... Maybe I went bowling once. I don't remember. I think I never did it. I think I actually never did it. If I did, I was just way too little to remember. I guess it will be fun, but you know, it's the sort of thing that... I need to 
eat the goo. <laughs> How did I do this? Like, I did it like a couple minutes ago. And I... Oh, like that, but damn, dude, that's such a bad angle. That's such a shitty ass angle, and I fucked up again. Oh, uh, man. That's beautiful. It's okay. So, that's how I did it. That's exactly how. So what I cannot do is a stop. Stopping is not allowed. You stop here, it's the same as nothing. A little bit more to the left will have work. Yeah, that angle is so fucking stupid. Such a stupid ass angle. And that's the thing, I can't stay still. Just that if I don't stay still, getting the desired angle seems so bad. Fuck me, dude. Oh, this seems so stupid. And even when you swing by properly, it might still not be enough. Because if you go too much forward, you cannot even... Uh, go where you need to go, which is there. Also, my left hand is starting to hurt a little. <laughs> Unrelated, but you know. Just starting to hurt a little bit. That might be a problem. Bowling is all out angles and momentum, yeah, I know. Not very good with angles, honestly. Or momentum. <laughs> I think that... The only... The only kind of game where I can probably do angles relatively decently is racing games. Any other thing, when it comes to angles, I just find it so hard to properly do. And you can clearly see here how f fucking hard this is. And that's the worst part, this is literally angles and momentum. Because if you go slow, you are not gonna go anywhere. It's all about keeping the momentum going here. But damn, it's so fucking hard. I can't believe it. I'm so pissed that I was so close of doing it. And I messed up the very last jump and now I cannot even get close to there I wish I knew what's the how to do that magic jump again I did it three three times I'm pretty sure but I need to do it again and I just don't know how I don't know how to do that secret, super good jump again. Oh, fuck me, dude. I hate these rocks. I hate these rocks. <laughs> Pretty much. Nothing more, nothing less. Wait, what? 
Wait a second. I mean, no, I'm not talking. You can grab that. I didn't even notice there was a school in there. You can grab that school. It's, I mean, it's not like it makes it super easier. Well, it really doesn't make it that easier. But that seems so much easier than doing it. Because you will try to kind of skip that. But no, you will need a lot of momentum for that. I'm not sure. No, like unless you land, like it's unless you land straight in the exit, this is not. Damn, I didn't even see the shit here. I think there might be others as well. In fact, I could just use this guy to go forward. So the issue of doing that is that I still need to rely on that shitty ass third ring. That's the, 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 the worst part though, is that third ring That fucking third ring is terrible. It's just absolutely terrible. What is that everything else is just so low? Man. Fuck this level. I, I just don't know what to do. I just have no clue what to do. Because the school being there helps. But what I will need is a school. Please tell me this is enough. No, it's not enough. Barely, but it's not enough. But I think that that's not a bad idea. Grabbing this from afar and getting a lot of momentum there. Oh, that works too. That doesn't. Yeah, I think that using that school is gonna be the, the secret on beating this easily. Because doing this by grappling every single ring seems so, so hard, like so unnecessarily hard. I, I kind of want to avoid the whole uh, zigzagging part because that's what you're supposed to do in the very last turn of the level you're supposed to zigzag but zigzagging at that speed and while having so many rocks close to you that's the worst part really this wouldn't be that bad if there weren't so many close to uh, rocks, right? There are so many close rocks that just don't let you maneuver properly. That's the issue. hitting that rock. Speaking of rocks, well the level is called rock skipping. I really wish I could skip every single rock, yeah. That would be nice. Skipping the level will be nice too. Oh, you have to be shitting me. That's horseshit. The fact that that didn't count is so fucking horseshit. I was right there. It's okay was a good attempt at least. Oh, okay. 
Don't don't grab that ring. You don't need to. Don't bother. You don't need to grab it, no. It's not necessary. You don't need to do it today. Yeah, he grace the exit. Oh, that's too far, really. That's too far as well, are you? Out of your mind. Damn, all of this is too far for you, huh? Picky bitch. Oh man. You know, I'm pretty sure that if I if I don't hit that, I could land right where the exit is. If I could avoid hitting... I don't even know what I'm hitting. I'm hitting something, but I don't even see it. There are so many stupid-ass rocks all together that I just don't even see which rock I'm hitting. I'm hitting one rock. Which one? I don't know. But it is a rock, that's for sure. I can't believe you have a ceiling after that, dude. Uh, it's okay. It's alright. Keep it cool. It just really pisses me off when that swing, for some reason, is too far. Like, bitch, it's not like I even have enough room to to get this ring. can do miracles, you know? God damn it. Alright, so it's impossible to go up is what you're trying to tell me. Like, I need to go forward instead. Ah, uh, that should have worked. Come on. That went so fucking close. God damn it. I don't want to s spend that much time on this fucking level, dude. I really don't. I do not. The question is, what would have been easier? To do this the intended way? How did I even do that jump? The one that made me, as Yannick say, grace the exit. How did I even do that? I don't comprehend it now. Maybe I positioned myself a little bit to the right, just so I could jump to the left, like this. Oh, it's like that, yeah, it's just that these rocks are all over the place. So when you don't see it, there is one rock that is waiting to fuck you up. Too much to the left. God damn it. Uh, this levels. being so fucking surrounded by these rocks. The worst part is that this isn't even as offensive as level 90 when it comes to, to how much, to how surrounded you are really. You're not really very surrounded here compared to that other level but goddamn. 
Oh, thank God. Jesus Christ. Fuck this level. Uh, what's this? Shul block? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Where is the exit? Oh, that's the exit. Wait, how do you enter that? Wait, am I supposed to go inside? There doesn't seem like there is any other way, right? Am I supposed to enter through the eye? Because I can... I can do it from below, right? Like, do you really want me to enter? I mean, it's completely covered otherwise. There is a chance that I can bug it, though. There was a level that I was able to bug. The exit was there, it was covered, and I still did it. Damn, if you want me to enter, dude, you're out of your fucking mind. You want me to enter through the eyes? There is no way you want me to do that. But there doesn't seem to be anything else, so I think I need to. Man, come on. Why are you like this? I think I am supposed to enter through the eyes. I don't know how you want me to do that, but the game seems like it wants me to do that. Like... It's not just the problem of entering. I wish entering was the only problem. The problem is... How do you avoid crashing once you are inside? And yeah, it's impossible to get there otherwise. You, you cannot. It's just not possible. I don't believe this, dude. This level looks... I mean, I know that it's possible, but... This level right now looks impossible to me. You really want me to go inside this shit? It looks absolutely impossible. Like, it's so ridiculous how impossible it looks to me. Because what do I even do once I'm inside this? Like, I can see how you get inside, okay? Like, you do this. That's how you get inside. Right, and now what? How do I avoid even crashing against all that bullshit? gonna figure it out. Yeah, it does seem like these levels are... Well, I mean, I know that it's the final world, but it seems like the difficulty for these things is... Yeah. Very elevated. want to imagine what the final level is gonna be like if these levels are already welcoming me with this I really don't want to imagine how the final one is gonna be so I'm assuming that considering that inner part there you want me to only swing once and get to the exit once I'm inside is that even inside there are some obstacles too. there are some obstacles and not much I can do even trying to get it right so you do this, but then the issue is how much you slow down and how much you swing once you're inside. Which funnily enough, once you're inside, you cannot even use the walls to swing. Like unless you use the spine, you can't swing. I 
that it's a little bit overkill to put all those obstacles in the end. It's already hard to aim to the spine and you want me to while I do that dodge obstacles. If it wasn't enough. At least I know how to get there. It's hard to do, but I know what the strategy is, but... Damn, dude. I feel like this is exactly what this game should not have. Levels that feel limiting when it comes to movement. I feel like this, this game, the way I see it, will be all about really jumping and shit, but this just makes it look so restrictive, right? And it's a shame, because the game is not supposed to, or, or at least, I mean, every level from the worlds that are not this one, I mean, even, I guess, except for the tunnels, none of them really felt very limiting. But this one feels so limiting. It just feels so limiting and they don't even look aesthetically pleasing. Uh, well, to look at, I mean. Like this hell landscape is... I mean, compared to every other landscape, it just feels lame. Doesn't help that you need to retry it over and over again. Because if at least I was watching those dolphins like in the second world, or those hamburgers while I struggle, at least it will be a little bit nicer. But looking at all this shit doesn't really look that uh, appealing. You know? Especially when you need to look at it over and over again. Fuck, dude. I didn't want to leave this game for tomorrow, but I feel like I need to. And that's the issue. What if there's only a couple of levels that are hard like this? What if all of the other levels are just gonna be piss easy? How do I know? You can know. That it really clashes with the whole synth wave aesthetic the game tries to go for. Like, I mean, the food one already look a little bit weird, to be honest. But at least it look nice. I mean, usually the game does go for a synth wave aesthetic. I don't think that hell particularly is the thing that I that I think of when I think of a synth wave, you know. I don't know, I mean I'm I'm not a follower of synth wave culture. If someone tells me synth wave, hell really is not the first thing that comes to my mind. Well not the first, not the second, not the third, not the twentieth. It doesn't come up at all. I don't even know why they went for hell for the last one. Feels very weird. Whatever. See, that's the issue. What if the what if the following levels are just piss easy and this is the last hard one? And want to stream tomorrow shoes for those levels. I also don't really even know how to grab to that spine without getting killed. It just feels so fucking. Come on, that was a beautiful jump. It 
Yeah, something tells me that regardless, there is gonna be one last stage that is gonna be so ridiculously hard that I'm gonna make all these stages look like like easy stages. I can see that happening. After all, the developers are quite aware of what level is the final level. It's not like they just randomly design levels and one random level becomes the last one. You know exactly what they are doing. So, something tells me that the last level is gonna be so painful. It's gonna inflict so much pain. In fact, this kind of looks as if it was a final level. Kind of surprised that this isn't the final level. Which makes me think that the final level is gonna be even worse. Kinda grab the school close to the eye if you fail aiming properly at the at the eyeball. But that seems even harder. Honestly. Sometimes it works but some other times it just doesn't. Dude, like the most messed up part is that even if you go constantly forward, there is one skeleton that gets in the way. Like, I just can't believe it, dude. Like, don't you think at this point that you should reflect and be like, you know what, maybe this level has a lot of foreshit, right? Like, maybe. This level is full of Porsche. So, maybe we can tune it down a little bit. But no. They were like, this is fine. This level has the right amount of bullshit. No, it's not overdone at all. I think that is uh, really surprising just because 90% of the game is not like this. Like 90% of the game is super casual and then you bring these levels out of nowhere. I understand it's the final world but the difficulty spike... Basically from stage 90 the difficulty spike has been so brutal that I haven't gotten time to recover. <laughs> Like, I'm still suffering this difficulty spike. Even three levels afterwards. Because the game doesn't prepare you for these levels. It just throws you there. This is more like extra stages, honestly. I think it would have made sense if everything before level 90 was the main game and then you unlock something that was extra stages and then these are the extra stages that are clearly super hard super harder than the, than the rest of the game but no, these are part of the main game see, look at that dude how do you have the guts to leave that skeleton there? I just don't get it like, really on top of all the bullshit you you leave that skeleton there i i don't get it really feels like there is no limit it's okay I really 
wonder how much time is this shitty ass level gonna cost me. Cause I feel like this is gonna take me so long. I mean obviously I don't think I can beat it today. But even if I play this tomorrow, how much is this gonna cost me? It really feels like this level is just incredibly time consuming. It just feels so time consuming. Oh, thank god. Oof. Well, seems that it wasn't that time consuming. Well, it still was pretty time consuming. Oh, and this looks even worse. God damn it. Every level looks worse than the previous one. And it's basically because of all these rocks. That's really the, the problem. It just feels so claustrophobic to, to play these levels. Really? This one looks way easier. Um, well, the funniest thing is that every level can pretty much be beaten. Or for what I've seen so far, every level can be beaten uh, under 10 seconds. That's the funny thing, like... It's just 10 seconds. Imagine if these levels were a minute long. That would be interesting. A minute of bullshit? That would be something else. Will be very cool. So you're supposed to release very early there. That's messed up because only the last jump is the one that is hard here. Everything else seems like a filler. That last jump is the, the only complicated one. In fact, I don't even know why there are so many of these rings. Well, I guess it's for people that like getting the top uh, scores. Well, the top score, the top times, I mean. Still feels quite weird. Play on legacy mode? Legacy mode, huh? What about Doom mode? Why is there... What is this? Well, that's just decoration, I think. Alright, that's fine. Oh, I have a rock right below my ass. That's an interesting name for a level. Rage. I mean, but I think that you are a little bit too late here. The rage level was not this one. It already happened. Some levels ago, you know. Wait, is this as long as I think it is? Like, do you need to go all the way there or something? Oh, that looks absolutely terrible. That looks so terrible. If only I could jump there. I could probably do it if I get enough momentum. Like, if I collect enough momentum here, I might be able to. I need a lot of momentum. And even then, damn, this looks horrible. This looks absolutely horrible. I mean, no wonder it's called Rage. But damn. This one looks very, very bad. A 
as I say, it's all because of having so many of these shits all close. It really feels like all the levels up until, up until 90 are made by a completely different person than whoever did the 90 levels. The, 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 I mean the levels from 90 uh, onwards. Like it's a completely different game even. The, the way that you face these levels is just completely different. Like the mentality even that you need on these levels is completely different. And the worst part is that you cannot skip the level. That's the You're, you can't skip this level to play it afterwards. You need to do it now if you want to play the next level. Sadly, I think that what I'm doing here is ultimately useless. I think that as much as I don't like, you need to follow the, the intended path. Ah, uh, that's... Seems that what I'm intended to do is just to grab these things from very close. The issue with that is that you're supposed to release super early. At least there is a lot of them, that's the good thing. At least, well, after this, not, not here at the beginning, but after this there are so many of them. Sadly, I don't know what to expect after that, because I'm seeing those rotating uh, obstacles and that looks so bad. That really looks like it's gonna make this level uh, represent its name very well. It's gonna represent it very well. So it's already representing it very well. Unfortunately, I think I might need to leave this for tomorrow. Uh, I really don't want to do that though. Because I really feel that if I play this tomorrow, it's gonna be a matter of at most half an hour. And that's gonna be enough to beat the rest of the game. I hate when that happens, but it seems like it's gonna be that way. Because this level should feel way too hard. And I got lucky on 94. 94 could have taken so much longer. 94 could have taken an eternity. I just got lucky that one time that I somehow was able to grapple the spine without getting killed. levels are way too hard. But, you know, I think it really is a matter of presentation. If you made these levels be like extra levels and separate from like the main game, kinda, I think it will be a lot more understandable. But this really doesn't feel like the same game that, at, that on the first levels. And again, not even on the first, on the 90% of the first levels. It feels like a completely different game.
Like, it's like we were playing Kirby, and now we're playing I Wanna Be The Guy. And that's how it feels. And that's the thing, I don't mind I Wanna Be The Guy. The problem is, if I started playing Kirby, I want to finish playing Kirby. You know. That's the thing. Yeah, I like I wanna be the guy, that's fine. But if I sign for Kirby, I don't wanna play I wanna be the guy, you know? And that's exactly how this feels. <laughs> Whatever. It's only a matter of time, really. That's it. But then, I really, really did not want to leave this for tomorrow. But it feels like it's just gonna be impossible to beat this today. It's gonna take way too long. Like, even if I stream for hours, I still don't know. Because keep in mind that my left hand is tired. A little bit tired. So... Even extending it for for a lot more minutes, I don't think it's gonna have a, a good effect, probably. But yeah, I, I honestly think that the best thing I can do is leaving this for tomorrow. It really feels like the best thing. I really didn't want to dedicate more than two, more than one stream to this game, but. It is what it is, I also don't feel like not beating this game. Like, come on. I'm not gonna leave this game unbeaten. That won't happen. That will be terrible. to limit myself when it comes to how many times I retry things. Let's do it like this. Five more attempts. I mean, after all, they are so short that, you know. So that's one. That's two. That's enough. Uh, I want to see though, if I press continue, if it's gonna go back, okay, it, it, it leaves it here, that's perfect. Yeah, uh, that's gonna be it for me for the day, because honestly, uh, you know, what's challenges? Huh? Play through all World 1 levels in one go? Who will be masochistic enough to do that? Like, come on, dude. In that playing the main game already will be... It's okay, don't worry about it. So in any case, thanks everyone a lot for watching, and I'll be seeing you on the next stream, sadly, with more of this thing. So, you know, have a good one, and uh, take care, everyone.